and today I'm here to talk a little bit about retreats and what I packed. So this last weekend I was lucky enough to go on a retreat to Zephyr Point in Tahoe with my local quilt guild and when I mentioned that in a couple past videos a lot of people asked well what do you pack for a retreat? And since I am now on the coming home side of it and didn't quite record in advance while I was packing because I am a last minute packer. Um, let's unpack what I took to the retreat. So I'm going to start with one of my little project boxes and then uh, we will roll on over to my Tudo that has all the rest of the goodies in it. So I'm not going to list off things like clothes and necessities and bathroom toothbrushes and face wash and that kind of stuff because those are given things if you're traveling that you'll probably take with you. But let me show you how I packed for this retreat and all the chaos that I brought with me. So first up, I have this little bin here. I think I got it as like either a teacher gift or somebody gave this to me for a Christmas present instead of doing gift wrap. And it has been fantastic because I use it to stack my cut out three yard quilts in. I'll put the book and then the fabric that I've cut on top of there. So as you've seen in a previous video that I did a couple weeks ago, I pre pull a bunch of three yard quilts all at once, just so I can kind of assembly line, get everything all situated, figure out what's what and there. So what I do is first I'll stack them in with the book with the fabric tucked inside so I know which pattern it's gonna be. And then I'll go through and cut everything out. Um, the best tip I got uh, between last year's retreat and this one was to cut before you go because it saved a lot of time. All I had to do was just sew and then cut my pieces as I went. And so I got a lot done this time. So this has um, all my three yard quilts in it. I think I had eight cut out before I went and I came home with three finished quilt tops and one partially finished one. So I've got my partial one on top because that's the one I'm working on. And then I've got one with the book. Oh, and binding. And then two with the book and no binding. And three with the book and bindings in there somewhere. And then underneath, let me hold this up. See if I can do this without knocking it over. Underneath, I've got snacks in here. Um, I've got loose thread. Um, I've got my mug that was a little swag from the shop. And everything else down in here are the other quilts that I didn't get to. So as I go, and once I finish those ones, I'll be able to just grab the next book on top, get the fabric, and start sewing. So that's how not only do I organize my three yard quilts for retreats, that's how I keep them at home too. So I'll like cut a whole bunch of them, put them in this kind of box bin thing, and then just work my way through. So that's why the next couple weeks, you're gonna see a bunch of three yard quilts that get sewn at the retreat, and then the rest of it finished here. It'll flip flop back and forth for a couple weeks, and then the rest of them are gonna get sewn here at home. Otherwise, um, I have this actually had like my cords and stuff for my camera. Um, I've cut loose threads because I was just grabbing and tossing um, any thread that was not enough to keep for my long arm because there's no way I could long arm a quilt with this much thread. But I actually, I actually worked through a bunch of my long arm bobbins, which I think must be in my Tudo because they're not in here. So let's roll that over and then go on over the floor and see what I got. So here's my Tudo in all its beautiful teal glory. This is the 2X size, uh, which is the biggest Tudo size. I believe my machine could have fit in a regular a large, but um, one, when my parents bought this, they didn't have this color. And uh, my good friend Angelina was the one that was working at the shop that was selling it. Um, and she suggested go big or go home. And they went the biggest and I went home and it was a really good Christmas present. So. In this side here, I've got, you've seen me use this little board. I keep my wool mat on top of that. So I had my little travel wool mat with me. I took this cutting mat with me. Um, I've got my little Olipha ruler with me. This is the 18 by three. And then I took my rotary, my rotary. I took my rotating cutting mat because I knew I was having half square triangles in my impending future. So that is the side pocket. I've got, pro oops, I've got project bags in here, but I didn't use them. Um, 
All right, so now to the inside of the bag. So my sister-in-law brought me this from Disneyland, so he's just been hanging out on there. So inside, it's actually a lot organized than I thought. Potato chips, those are left over from dinner. I had my pins for when I was putting on borders. That's really the only time I use them. I had my little notions box, which is very coordinated on the inside. I've got my scissors in here, my thread, my walking foot, which I use when I did the binding for um, a quilt that you're gonna see really soon. My scissors, my little thread ninja star, little scissors, a little ruler, my rotary cutter. Um, I've got needles and replacement blades, my Aurifil thread, um, this little guy that I need to resection to my machine. Um, little miscellaneous things, nail clippers, because I kept busting my nails. Um, so this is what I have kind of set as my like travel box. And then in here, this is the leftover of the binding. This is the leftover of the binding for the quilt that I did, some other fabric scraps. And then here's my wheel of bobbins. So I emptied out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. M class bobbins while I was there, which is very exciting because I need to go load some of those up because I'm quilting today. This is my kitty cats. I got as far as I could until I oops, cut and flipped some pieces. So now that I'm home, I need to redo those, but I kept everything for that specific project in here um, so that it's all contained and not loose cats everywhere. I've got my machine here, as you can see. That's uh, my Janome. And then I got my foot pedal and my cords in here, my Mr. Bottle of Best Press. I actually didn't use that. And then I brought my little, this is all my Wonder Clips. I got this container at QuiltCon last year, last time I went in Phoenix. And then I took my Panasonic iron because I wanted an iron to kind of work in my own space and not have to keep getting up and back and forth and back and forth. But I ended up not using this because my coworker bought the new Tula Pink one of these and she gifted me this little guy. And boy, is this thing a little beast for this size of iron. This heated up so well, I got all my pieces pieced. The only time I had to get up to use the big iron um, was when I was doing bigger rows that didn't fit on my little wool mat in here. So that's everything besides the quilt that I put binding on because that's at my parents' house right now. Um, so I think that's everything. Oh, no, I did take my big 24 by 36 mat and my uh, 24 by 5 ellipso ruler because I had to do some strip cutting. Um, and I like having a big mat just in case, and I wanted my own. So that is everything that I took with me. So I hope that helps. I highly suggest bringing multiple projects when you go on a retreat, because then I was able to kind of switch back and forth. I didn't feel like I was just sewing in the same thing the whole time, a bajillion half square triangles, but having one to bind, one to piece, and then the three yard quilts for strip piecing, that was amazing. So. I hope that helps you figure out what to pack for retreat, what to pack for a sew day. And I hope you get to go on a retreat or a sew day very soon. Let me know if you do. Well, it's 941 Saturday morning. My bed is made. I have showered. I slept in, making up for lost time of working all week. And so now it's time to go sew. Uh, it's a brisk 30 degrees outside. So I've got to haul it across in true style. I didn't break a jacket because I forgot that. I forgot my Dr. Pepper and I forgot my dessert treat to share. So that's how things are going. But I've got all my projects. And so let's see how long I last into the night and how much I get done.
so it's only 10 30 on saturday night and i am the last one nobody else is in here so i may start getting my next projects lined up and then call it a night but tomorrow's a new day. All right, let's do this stair climb. Gotta go get the car. Here we go. So my mom came over today and we got a lot of work done. So let me show you the before, the during, and then the aftermath of cleaning this sewing room.